So from meals out with friends, romantic dinners for two, celebrations with your kids, eating out can be a fun and sociable way to spend your time. However, it could be derailing your budget. So do you eat out a lot and are you trying to cut back and save some money? Let's chat in the comments below. Hi everyone, my name is Bola Shokumbi. I'm the founder and CEO of Clever Girl Finance. I'm also the author of the Clever Girl Finance book series and my latest book, Choosing to Prosper. Welcome to Clever Girl Finance TV. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to go over seven key tips to help you stop eating out so much, especially if you find that eating out is derailing your budget and you want to save some more money, or you just feel like you're eating out way more than you should be. The average American family spends over $3,000 a year eating out. That's a lot of money and that's the average. So there are families and people who are spending way more than that. So if you're in that space, you're like, oh my God, I, I could be doing something more with my money. I want to eat out less because I'm not saying never eat out. We still want to have fun. We still want to spend time with our friends and family. But if you're in that space where you're like, okay, I want to eat out less, but I'm struggling to do this. What tips can I leverage? You are watching the, the right video. So let's get into some of those key tips. Number one, meal prep. And by meal prepping, you're essentially assuring that you always have something to eat at home. So start to explore recipes, recipe books, recipes on Pinterest, write out your grocery list for the things that you want to cook for the week, batch cook and freeze items. So you always have something in the freezer to heat up and eat. And this is how you can successfully meal plan and ensure that you minimize how much you're eating out. Don't forget that you want to build time into your schedule to actually do the meal planning and cooking so that you have that food prepared and ready to go when you want to eat it. Number two, bring your own food with you. So if you if you find that you're constantly buying food when you go out with friends or you are on your way to work or for lunch at work, one thing you can do is start to bring your own food with you, right? So if you're going for a walk or a hike with a friend, pack your own sandwich, pack your lunch to work, put snacks in your bag or in your car. So you always have something to eat as opposed to always having to spend money buying those things when you go out. Number three, avoid social situations that involve food and eating out. So one really cool fact is that not every social setting has to have food involved, right? You don't always have to go out or to a restaurant to spend time with your friends and family. There are so many other things that you can do that don't involve food and you can simply bring your own drinks and snacks with you from home. For example, as opposed to always meeting your friends at a restaurant to hang out, maybe you can decide that you're going to go on a hike together and pack your own water and pack your own snacks, right? That is one way to work around situations. So every time, it's not that you don't get to spend time with your family and friends because you're worried about how much you're going to spend eating out. But instead, every time you get invited out, think about are there alternative options I can suggest that don't involve us going to a restaurant and in turn, spending money. Alternatively, you can also invite your friends and family over to your home for a meal, but instead of you cooking, you can have each of them bring a meal over and have a potluck lunch or dinner. Number four, cook at home more often. The more you cook at home, the more you have available to eat and the less you'll be tempted to eat out all the time. Granted, sometimes people say to me, you know what, I don't like anything that I cook. Well, this is a great opportunity for you to start looking into recipes and trying out recipes for things that you enjoy. Number five, have a list of quick meals. So there are times where you just do not want to cook anything or you can't be bothered to go through the process of prepping the food. So so have a list of quick meals that you can whip up really quickly uh, that don't take time, five to 10 or 15 minutes, and you can get your, your meal done, especially if you're coming home from a long day of work or you've been so busy and you're just really tired and you don't wanna you don't wanna cook anything, having those quick meals ready to go is a great help to helping you eating out less because you'll be less tempted to order food. Number six, find alternative activities. So eating out in itself is an activity. But once you've set this intention that you want to eat out less, you now have more time and also more money. So you want to fill up that time with other things so you don't get tempted to fall back into that old habit. So 
try a new exercise class, right? Try a language class, find a cool series to watch on Netflix, find other ways to occupy your time uh, from when you would otherwise be eating out. Number seven, join or start a no eating out challenge. And this is a great way to involve your friends who are part of your eating out process in a savings challenge where you choose not to eat out for a month or X amount of time. So you can involve your friends, your family, even your coworkers where you have a no eating out challenge, bring your lunch to work challenge, let's eat at home challenge. So now I've shared all these different tips as to how you can avoid eating out, how you can cut back on eating out, but let's talk about about how you can remain motivated, especially when you get tempted to want to eat out. First thing you wanna do is set a goal. So are you trying to stop eating out for a month, for three months, for six months, or are you trying to cut back on eating out? So maybe you go out to eat four times a week and instead you only wanna go out once. You want to set, set a goal. So I'm not gonna eat out for the next 30 days, for the next 100 days, or I'm only going to eat out once a week or once every two weeks. You want to have a clear goal so you have something to focus on. Number two, find an accountability partner. Find someone to keep you accountable so that when you get tempted, they can reel you back in and say, hey, listen, you have food at home, right? So maybe it could be a coworker, a friend, or a family member who is on the same uh wavelength as you when it comes to eating out less so you can save more money. And then number three, track your progress, right? So you've set this goal of how often you want to eat out or eat out less or not eat out at all. So see how you're doing, right? And find cool ways to reward yourself within reason uh, when you don't go to eat out. So maybe every time you don't go to eat out, you put that money in your vacation fund or you put that money in the fund to get, you know, a new outfit or you put it towards your investments or your savings or your, or your debt payoff. These are all rewards, right? Uh, that can motivate you to stick to that goal of eating out less. And then number four, decide what you do with the money you save. So I just mentioned rewarding yourself, but maybe you have a big vacation you're saving for a new handbag, a new car, whatever it might be have a designation for the money you're going to save. What will you be doing with that money? So now you know exactly how to stop eating out, right? So which of these tips are you going to be leveraging to stop eating out or eat out less? Share in the comments and let's talk about it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Tell your best girlfriends about Clever Girl Finance. Stop by our website at clevergirlfinance.com. Check out our over 30 plus completely free courses and over 40 plus completely free worksheets. And then tune in to our podcast called The Clever Girls Know Podcast everywhere you listen to your podcast episodes. Thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you next time. 